Admit it, you never really thought it would come to this. This wacky little series that was just a formality on the Bruins' road to the Stanley Cup Finals. After all, who could really take the New Jersey Devils or this series that seriously? The Devils who needed an overtime win on the last day of the season just to join this little party. Then that circus that was orchestrated last week. Donuts, restraining orders, sub-officials, suspensions, no suspensions, pseudo-suspensions. Well, this just had to be a bad joke, right? Linsman. Now it goes to Johnson again. Johnson getting a pass across and the score by the Devils. A power play goal to make it six to three with a two man advantage. Saved by Burke on the long shot in and that will do it. And the Devils win the game. Extend the series to seven games. This has to be like waking from a bad dream and discovering that you were never really sleeping. Reality, the Devils are one game away from sending the Bruins packing. Home ice advantage, you say? Well, the Devils won that season-ending overtime game to get into the playoffs in Chicago. Then they took two out of three on the road to ice the Islanders and three out of four in the cap center to eliminate the Washington Capitals. This team does not fear enemy territory. Drew the Bruins have been all but unbeatable at home. Seven and one in the playoffs. The loss to New Jersey. The good news is neither team has managed to win two games in a row in this series. By that logic, it is the Bruins' turn tonight. The bad news? It's only a one-game series now. Anything can happen. The winner goes to the Stanley Cup Finals. The loser goes home. Who could have imagined it would have gone down to this? Live from the Garden, it's the Bruins and New Jersey Devils for the seventh and final time on Nesson. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Boston Garden. This is it. One moves on, the other goes home. Hi, I'm Dave Shea, and we should be in for a beauty tonight. The question is, how will both teams come out tonight? In talking to members of both clubs prior to the game, well, the Bruins are cautiously optimistic. A little bit of nervous energy, while the Devils, well, they're very loose. They're quietly confident that they're going to come out and do exactly what they did in Game 7 of the Patrick Division Finals. The key, of course, for Boston, play the same way they did in Games 3 and 5, when they totally dominated, not only on the ice, but on the scoreboard. The key for the Devils, try to cut down those scoring opportunities for Boston and take a little heat off of Sean Burke. The goaltender should decide it tonight. Reggie Le in goal for Boston, Burke for the Devils. For a closer look at this one, let's go up to the booth right now with Fred and Derek. Thank you, Dave. Well, this game's going to be different. The referees and the linesman comes out first. And a big cheer for Don Kohraski is going to call uh, tonight's game. Not a standing ovation, no, no. but a very big cheer. Not a standing ovation, but that could quickly change. Come first minute or so, they liked the way he stood up to Sean Feld and referees kind of pulled themselves together. And people kind of saw the referees in a, in a different light. They're just kind of set upon. It's a tough job at best. We just let it go with that. Oh, what do you think it's going to do to the referee? <laughs> Here is cheered at the start of a game. That that has never happened. No, I've I've never seen it happen. Now you ask me a question like, what are they going to do? Uh, he's not going to certainly referee to have everybody cheer him the rest of the night. He'd be out of a job at midnight. So he's going to call it as he sees fit and just hopefully the Bruins stay out of the penalty box. The Devils are in a beautiful position. Uh, even if they lose this game, everybody's going to say, hey, great battling team. Nobody ever thought you'd get this far. You beat the Isles, the, you beat the Caps. So they're, uh, they're in a kind of a, a can't lose situation. Well, they're awful loose. And they're not, uh, you know, I would be very uh, hesitant to say anything against them if they were loose and had talent. You know, if they were, but I think really they're, they've got an awful lot of heart. They work hard together and they bounce back very well. The Bruins, if they get them on the ropes, must put them away like they did in Game 5. Okay, we'll have the opening face-off in just a minute. Hey, everybody, and this is it. 
final 60 minutes of the Wales Conference Championship Series. Of course, Derek, 60 minutes plus is definitely a possibility when you have two teams that have split six games. That's true, and uh, either team has the ability to bounce back, Dave. You can't ever count them out. This game is not going to be won or lost, I don't believe, in the first period, so it's going to be full hockey game tonight. All aspects of the game should be played to their fullest. I think Goharski might let a lot of the physical stuff go. You get hit, get knocked down, get up and get back in the play. There's no lollygagging around saying, oh, I'm hurt. Shake off the injuries and go from there. Talking to Lou Lamorello prior to the game tonight. I said, gee, your club is loose as a goose down there in the dressing room. It's almost as if they don't feel any pressure. And he said, you know what? We've already played a Stanley Cup seventh game where we won that final regular season game in Chicago. We were playing. We knew Pittsburgh had won. We knew New York had won. We went to overtime. We knew a tie was no good. The veteran guys who weren't dressing were pacing the hallways. He says, I have to admit that I was pacing. That was the most pressure we could possibly be under, and everything pales to it now. The only thing he said that could compare to it is playing in the actual seventh game of the Stanley Cup Finals. So he says, that's why we're loose. Good enough reason. <laughs> All right, down on the ice, the teams are on their blue lines, and the officials are at center ice, and with Mike in hand, and it is Tuxedo with Carnation complete. Here's Mr. Rene Ragport and his rendition of the National Anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so Your referee tonight is backup Denny Morrell, Kevin Collins, and Ron Finn. The linesman with Wayne Bonney on hand as the alternate linesman. Now, I'll tell you another thing, too. The, the linesmen are pumped, too. They don't want to make any mistakes. They're sharp as they can possibly be. Well, certainly the devil's hoping he is as sharp as he can be. Sean Burke single handedly won two of these three games the Devils have won in this series. And at the other end, Reggie Lovell is trying to bounce back. From his only poor showing of the postseason. Gave up five goals on 13 shots, but Terry O'Reilly said, No hesitancy. I know I'm going with Reggie Lemelin. He's the guy that got us here. We're ready to go. Here's Fred. Craig Janney, Kirk Muller were underway, and with it, Danico to fire it in. Blocked by Lemelin, taken over by Kuzak. And a change for New Jersey. They put out a checking line. Loisel is out there now. Bruins work it up. Joyce has trouble with it, slides it into the devil's end, and they're going to call icing. They wave it off now at the last second. And the Bruins forecheck vigorously. Trying to keep it in. Kuzak moves it up. It's knocked away by Willana. Picked up by Maley. Maley broken up by Bork. Good break here, two on two. Neely going, blocked. The follow-up by Bork. Bork moves to the corner behind the net, swooping around with it. Holding, puts it in front, blocked uh, by uh, Burke on the corner. A shot on by Ray Bork. Difficult angle, but he put it on net with a good rush. Bork slides it up now, and Janney wraps it in as the lines change. Curve is back for it for New Jersey. But Bratton, checked by Telvin, broken up. Linsman starts it back to Wesley. Wesley the clear out. Bruins fight for it, Crowder with it. 
away to Sweeney doesn't get it and right back comes Muller on Wesley the shot deflected by Wesley into the stands the face off in the Boston zone. Great that's an initial shove there by Neely stayed yeah. in that end zone whipped around the net had a flat footed Joe Sorella just kind of off balance. That's the way it has to be. It has to start like that. I think Make that puck can, bounce Derek. for it. Yeah. I really Dave, do. He's the catalyst that makes this hockey club go along with Ray Bork. Ray Bork skating and doing his job. Makes no difference how hot Sean, Sean Burke is. The Bruins will get too many chances to stop them all. Ray's the leader with the puck. He goes end to end, but they feed off of Cam's energy when he's out there and hitting and just causing all kinds of trouble on the other end. Everybody else picks up the uh, the cue and, and it seems to be a total team effort hitting all night long. Calvin and Wesley. Wesley at the center line drops it in wide of Burke. Back is Velashek for checking Lindsman. Chases him. Breaks him up. Crowder trying to keep it camp. And Johnson breaks it out. A lead pass connected to McLean. McLean hit by Wesley. And into the corner goes Telvin. Trying to wrap it up on Sundstrom. Fought for to the left of Lemlin. Still a battle. Still loose. Batted around. Nobody can get a handle to it. Finally, Boston does. Sweeney. The clear out. And breaking is Crowder. Crowder can't set up a play to Lindsman. Right back comes McLean. McLean shot deflected wide. Telvin, the clear up. Sweeney, a left winger, gets it out. Can't connect with Lindsman. Sorella coming back is checked. The puck is batted in by Sundstrom as the lines change. Everybody getting some warm up activity here. Puck in the center ice and going with it. Plett. Driver fell down. He couldn't capitalize on it. Plett had a loose puck go just for a moment. Could have, would have been a break. Break in. Casper back. A lead for Burridge. Burridge deep on Curvis. Cuts in. Sweeps it across wide. Bork moves in. Bork holds it. And a penalty coming up on New no, Jersey. Net dislodged, Fred. Net dislodged. I okay. thought it was going to be a hooking penalty. With the score, Boston nothing, New Jersey nothing. We'll return in a moment. Casper uh, with a very sore right shoulder Derek that doesn't look like his normal shoulder pads those look like Donzi pads which are bigger and more heavily padded and I have a feeling that's what he's wearing to protect that shoulder his shoulder is one reason why Billy O'Dwyer's in the lineup tonight just in case Casper can't kill enough penalties or take a regular shift with that shoulder injury the draw won by the Devils Loisel cleared out by Willannon dropped back in by Bork got it away by Willannon well, and a shot and a kick out save by Lemlin all the way to center ice. The right pad on it. Drop back in and Bork takes over. Now to Kluzak, up to Burridge. Burridge hit, but Kluzak moves. And clears it in. The team's a bit tentative. You can see it. And you can understand it, of course, right at the start. Back comes New Jersey. Muller with it. Muller over the line. A good shift on Bork. Stops, cuts, knocked down by Bork and broken up. Looked like he might have beaten Bork. No way as he cut back. Bork broken up and cleared it. Ray Bork could skate too well for that. Got away with a semi cross check. Good pass up. Muller has it off to Broughton. Broughton over the line with a threat and a shot blocked wide by Telvin. Taken by Verbeek. Muller checked. Broughton is on it. Broughton wheels in the zone. Broken up by Peterson on the puck. It is New Jersey in alone for Beak. They go in front. Save and a drive and a save by Lemlin and for Beak. For Beak had an absolutely open net and Lemlin robbed him. Reggie Lemelin, Terry O'Reilly's right again. <laughs> wow, this this is your Ted Miller, Derek. What a save that was. Aaron Broughton wants to calm this down. Great play right here. Now he's going to tuck it. Got it calm to save. Now Verbeek is still rolling. He didn't get much on it. Reggie's tremendous oh. second effort. Looked like Wade Boggs taking a short double down the left field line away from an enemy hitter. 24 square feet wow. aside from a glove. And Reggie Lemelin came oh. up with the save early. A little bit of a mistake in the corner. Al Peterson concentrated on the player. Verbeek to stand him up. But a puck was in his feet. He couldn't see it. Couldn't take the time to look down. No one got to it. Well, let's see if the Bruins could feed off of that save. Well, the Devils now are up to three shots, and that last one definitely labeled. A screenshot deflected wide. Bill O'Dwyer hasn't played in a long stretch, able to clear it out. 
Back for Belichick. Middleton is on at right wing. O'Dwyer is at center. And Mo LeMay on. And this pass up. Call for a face off. With the score of Boston nothing, New Jersey nothing, let's pause for this message. Bob Sweeney right here. Now he's going to come around to the net. Decides to change motion, put his weight on his right side. He's really at that point beat. No need to haul him down. Foolish penalty by uh, Mark Johnson. Bruins are having an outstanding series on the power play 10 for 31 or 32 percent when you consider in the entire playoffs Buffalo Montreal in this series they're only 16 percent on the power play so the Bruins taking advantage of the New Jersey penalty killers on the draw in deep Belichick with it and he's able to clear it Brown moving quickly forcing Lemlin to make a play around to Neely back to Kuzak Kuzak starts it out. Good pass to Neely. Neely breaks three on two over the line with Joyce. Going in to the corner. Puts it in front. It is knocked away by Valashek. Kept in by Kuzak to move into the corner. Back to Bork. Bork over to Gianni. Operating from that right wing side. The playmaker. Into Joyce. Joyce lost it. Checked on the play. Back with Valashek. Bruins keep it in. Now it rolls to Bork. Bork. To Kuzak. Back to Bork. Bork. A shot in. Scores! Ray Bork clipped it in. It might have been deflected in front Janney. by Janney. It what was a Janney. play by Ray Bork. He had no options. He wanted to give it back here in the wing. Janney wasn't there. He looked up. He had nothing left. He was going to get shut down. That's what I mean by penalty killers. Have you forced? Keep forcing them. Force Ray Bork to do something with it. They gave him that little second to pause. Ray Bork snapped it. Whether it was, was tipped or not, we'll see in a it second. It was, no doubt about Janney. it, Derek. Watch Janney set up out in front. Get the puck on net. When you shoot it on net, many things can happen. Look at Janney coming out from behind. Waves to Bork. There's the tip. One Great. nothing Bruins. Great tip. That's what I mean. Get in that front of that net. In that slot. Any rebounds, he would have been in shape to get it also. Great play by Ray Bork. Right between the pads. Beautiful tip. Bork and Kuzak assists. A power play goal for Boston. They lead 1-0. Crowder down to jam it up in the New Jersey end and get a face-off. That's like a, a, a fella up there bunting and making the good bunt. Right. Janney did. Excellent for that. I love the exactly way he called for it, it too. He did. He sticks his stick in the air. Ray Bork just catches him out of the corner of his eye. Just wrists it into him. Nice little soft waist high flip. Janney just laid it down. That's your basic squeeze bunt type move, yeah. Fred. I like that. <laughs> Never thought Great of Janney. Like that. Now the, your hands the same way. Now the leading rookie scorer in the Stanley Cup playoffs. 13 points for Janney. Sweeney and Joyce are tied for second with 12 points. So three Bruin rookies and three leading rookie scorers in Stanley Cup competition. Bruins scoring their second shot on net. New Jersey with five but New Jersey could not put any on net in their first power play on the base off to the left of Sean Burke. Lynn's been out. Crowder and Sweeney back to Telvin. Telvin has a bouncing puck. Slaps it in around the board. Sweeney going for it. Will Allen. Puck is cleared away. Telvin right back. For Lindsman. Lindsman is checked on the play. Can't set up Crowder. And a pass over the line. Goes to Verbeek. He's hauled down on the play by Wesley. The puck cleared away by Boston. A penalty coming up here. It is on New Jersey. Huck. It's on Boston. It's on Boston. Must be Sweeney. They were banging. Sweeney for high stick and a little exuberant in his uh, treatment of Willannon. And New Jersey with a power play. High sticking on Sweeney with the score. Boston 1, New Jersey nothing. We'll return to the Garden in a moment. Dave. There's Bob Sweeney in the box. Was it Willannon or Verbeek, Derek, that uh, Willannon. Bob got a little physical with? Willannon took him out at the blue line. Just inside the, the blue line. A good solid check. Bob took exception to it. Give the stick in retaliation. A little undisciplined. Well, the Bruins were quite successful killing off 
the first one, but only thanks to Reggie Levelin. A couple of big saves. Where's Ruby? No, no, that's Levelin. That, that's uh, Wesley. Here we go, Willanen. Right there. Now Bob gets a high stick, a little chop. The extra shove is what got him and clipped off the head of the stick. Got to have more Foolish discipline penalty. than that. Yeah, you don't want to do it there. Paceoff coming up to the right of Lemlin. Ray Bork is arguing with some point with Kaharski or making a point with him. Johnson is out with Sundstrom and McLean. Curvers and Driver, 1 0 Boston. Janney the goal from Bork and Kuzak on a power play. Puck down. Bruins trying to clear it away. They do. They carry it out. Casper with it. Casper clears it in. Burridge going for it. Back for it. Curvers. Second power play for New Jersey. Ten minutes left. First period. Curvers drives it in offside. The driver. He takes a bump from Kuzak anyway over the line. And a little bit of jostling. That's it. Get them. Uh, get New Jersey a little bit uh, out of sink here with a little push after both teams right on the edge of getting ugly it's just a matter of the game getting out of hand well New Jersey would uh, be well served if they showed a little discipline here they are on the power play they don't want to lose that advantage now Vieta just see that doesn't constitute enough he kind of just nudged them back Bill O'Dwyer back in action out with Rick Middleton Kluzak and Bork, 1-0 Boston. Curvers to Shanahan, check, Curvers again. Over to Driver, Driver pokes it in, goes to the corner. Wraps it around for Muller. Muller holding, back to Curvers at the point. Over now to a new point man, Broughton. Out of Curvers, and the shot missed the net. The rebound is taken by Muller. Checked by Kluzak, puck goes to Middleton. Middleton carries out with O'Dwyer, taking his time. And broken up. Broughton comes right back. Broughton over the line. Holding now, looking for a trailer. Fires. Tipped. But wide by Muller. He was all alone in front. A minute left on the power play. Shanahan hit behind the net by Telvin. Kicks it away to Broughton. Shanahan back on the boards. Middleton called down. But cleared it out anyway. Could have called that. 40 seconds left, New Jersey power play. Driver wraps it in, the long ricochet. Sundstrom moves it in front, and Telvin clears it right away. Lins, Linsman moving on it. Bruins trying to move it in, they overskate it, and back comes Sundstrom. Sundstrom moving, quick shot, wide of the net. Kept in by Danico, checked on the line, fed back in, going for it. Kluzak, Sundstrom has it. Sundstrom to Willannon. Willannon broken up. And Linsman breaks it out. Two on one with Casper. Linsman coming out. Casper. Over to Casper. And it's a bouncing puck and he can't handle it. Into the corner. Casper knocked down. Linsman behind the net. Battling three devils. Jamming. Tying it up. Getting a face off. Oh. And the Bruins kill the penalty. Was that close? That just happened to one hop over that stick. Casper was anticipating the bounce, but just as long as it wouldn't hit the side of the puck and flip in the air quickly. The bounce, the short hop, the bounce, just missed it. Second power play and no shots on. They did have some territorial play. Boy, that uh, tip by Muller didn't miss by much. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was dangerous. Between the save that he made on Verbeek and, uh, and Muller, a beautiful tip going high. You have to say right now the gods are sitting on Reggie's cage. Yes. Not the devils. Yeah. <laughs> I guess God's going to pick one of yeah. the Bruins. No? Yeah, I guess he'd probably stay clear. Who wants to help the Jersey Devils? <laughs> <laughs> oh, watch Muller. Watch Muller right out in front. Stone cold. Unfortunately, it went wide. Unfortunately for Muller. Right Another here. look at it. There's the thing right oh. there. <laughs> Boy, that's a 6 5 pick up. Right there. Well, short hopped it and just got over his stick. The shots are six New Jersey, two for Boston. The lead is one nothing Boston. Power play goal by Janney from Bork and Kuzak. But Sweeney is out now. That's Loisel. The draw to Kuzak. The shot reflected into the stands. Face off called. He he got plenty on that, but there was a quick deflection. Well, the crowd started to go quiet as Gordy drew that stick back and started to glide in that, yeah. that buck. 
Can he get it home? Bruins get that next goal, It'll be a big one. Area shots. The guests are ahead in shots. Thank goodness they don't count. And Boy. two remarkable saves. Three, really, by Lemon. Howie was able to stop for a beat. Go down sensation. in history. That goes to the saves. Sweeney out with Loisel. When they at left wing with Platt, they keep it in. It's off to tell them, tell them a shot. Save. Burke hangs on. Platt creating havoc there with uh, Valashek. And Willie can stand his ground with any of them and uh, makes a big presence in front of the net with Telvin firing, Burke saving. Well, Michael Telvin gets it a little bit in front of him. You'll see that it's too far in front of him to keep it. See, it's not back down on his feet. He kind of got it so high, it drifted up there. He's got a lofted stick that a high lie with an open toe, like a wedge. And if you if you hit it like that, it kind of just going to rise on you. He, I know he wanted to keep it down. Sweeney centering, LeMay on the left, Platt on the right. LeMay dressing in place of Tom McCarthy. Platt back, Wesley, Talvin again. Great chance! Scores! Talvin from Wesley to make it 2-0! Great shot by Michael Talvin. Got this one down. Willie Platt very sharp on the faceoff, jumps in, gets it back to Wesley, and then he just slips it across to Michael Telvin. I think a Jersey player deflected it. Sean Burke never saw well, it. Well, I, I was just going to say, Derek, I think Bo LeMay may have screened Sean Burke. LeMay came across just as Telvin fired. I don't know if he got a piece of it, but I think he may have blocked Burke's view. Of course, the tendency for a goaltender is to go down and try to pick up that shot, and Telvin's shot is up. Sean Burke has been in his history right here Hits it that hit might have gone off LeMay's yep, it hind did. quarters there. Went right off Bo LeMay. So sure is LeMay. And it's 2 0 Boston. On their third shot, they score the second goal. The key to that, the faceoff. Telvin and Wesley will assist. And 2 0 Boston. Brown clears it all the way in on Lemon. Back for Telvin. Kelvin away on the left side. LeMay clears it in. Takes a hit in first. Platt, tough angle. Oh, he put it on. And Burke made the stop. He blistered that one. And back comes Sullivan now. Clear it in. Mo LeMay. Bork is smashed to the ice by Sullivan. And the puck is dropped back to the point by Shanahan, but goes to center ice. Oh, Bork took a heavy hit there. Bork breaks it up on Shanahan. In at left wing, deflected the shot by Telvin. Bruins are outside trying to move it in. 7.06 left in period number one. 2 nothing Boston. Boy, Doug Sullivan lowered the boom on Raymond in behind the Bruin goal. Well, they found a way to get to Sean Burke. Deflect it. Don't let the original shot get there. Ball Big goal of Terry O'Reilly. Put him in the lineup, had a hunch. Well, he's got to have a smile on this one. I bet you haven't scored too many. Now, you don't get too many with that part of your anatomy. <laughs> but, you know, they all count. Poor Sean Burke there goes on. No. <laughs> Boston leads 2 0, the lead for nearly too far. Back for it, Sorella. In the center ice, he can't move with it. The Bruins check it closely. Velashek is winding up. We have seen the devil's style in this situation. Everybody up. Bork breaks it up at the Boston line. A lead in for Jenny from Joyce. Indeed, Velashek there. Jenny checks him, tackles for it. Knocked away by Burke. Joyce throws his weight around in the corner. Jenny trying to dig it free. 2 0 Boston. Fought for it to the left of Burke. Everybody over there. And finally, New Jersey gets it. Bratton. Bratton is checked immediately by Joyce, but it goes to Muller. Muller over the line, wheeling, moving well, broken up. And back comes Neely. Neely on the left wing side by one devil. Bratton now checked. Now leads it back in for Burridge, who just came on. Burridge in deep, going behind the net, ridden off by the Devils. Six minutes left, first period, 2 0 Boston. Mole the second one after Janney. Deflected a shot by Bork. 
on a power play. Bruins coming back over the line. Casper moving in on driver. Check to the boards. Fought for there. A battle. Still battling. Johnson. Middleton trying to get it. And it's frozen. All right, Stevie Casper. Right shoulder first into the glass, Derek. Every time you see him go right shoulder in on yeah. a hit, you got to be hold your breath. He's a Bruin. He's tough. Shake it off. He He's tough. tough. Boy, two nothing. John Boston. Forrest, I used to say that to us all the time. Shake it off. You'll be a Bruin. John, it hurts. Nah, nah. <laughs> no, it doesn't. That swelling is only a new muscle growing. <laughs> Love that mentality. <laughs> Could you grow new ankles too and uh, new knees? You'd hope so. <laughs> you know, the way they talk. Yeah, Bobby Orr could have grown new knees. Um, everybody knows what sympathy is in the dictionary. Just leave it there. Have you been waiting the entire postseason to use that? What? Everybody knows where sympathy no. is in the dictionary. Leave Let it, it lie, David. Could have been subtle. Now you're jumping all over it. Face off to the right of Sean Burke, the Boston Golds, Janney, a power play from Bork and Kluzak, LeMay from Wesley and Telvin. Lindsman on the draw with Sundstrom to the right of Burke. 541 left, first period. Burbers trying to move is checked by Sweeney. Sweeney comes out of the corner. Back for Kluzak. Back in, and Sweeney couldn't get the pass. He was open in front. The jersey tips it. Up to the Boston line with it, McLean. The follow up, Sweeney checks it, and the Bruins break it out. Bork coming two on two with Crowder. Bork over the line. In the Crowder, deflected but wide. Crowder coming off the corner in front. Can't put it to Sweeney. Sweeney behind the net, checked on the play. Linsman checking it. Bork, another great play at the line, keeps it in. The Sweeney behind the net. Sweeney puts it in front. Linsman a backhander and a save by Burke. Five minutes left. Bruins lead 2-0 first period. Sundstrom back. Pop fly in. Easy for Lemon. Well, they can't list that as a shot, but they do. Bruins clear it in. Burridge hustles into the corner. Battling Danico. Shanahan there. Plett is there. And again, the, the battle. Still a battle in the corner. Nobody can move with it. Well, it's in the devil's end. Burge is trying awful hard, I'll tell you. Finally, Willamon gets it. Can't clear it out. Kept in by Wesley. A pass up. But trying to get it. Camp. And Sullivan starts it back. Sullivan. Clears it in from center ice. Blocked by Lemon. Take it over by Telvin. Casper can't handle the pass. Curvers drives it back in the Boston end. Wesley on it. Pass intercepted by Broughton. Broughton puts a shot on, but misses the net. Kept in by Loisel to Broughton. Checked by Casper. Out of the pack comes Telvin. Can't move with it, though. Checked on the boards. Loisel keeps it in. His pass intercepted by Telvin. Up the boards, not out. Driver checked. And finally, Putt gets it out, and the Bruins break. Here comes Casper with Burridge. Off the Burridge, he's in. Back! Oh, he tried to pass back, and Casper was covered. Burridge had a good chance to fire it on. It finally reached in there. Long shot by Broughton. Kicked into the stands by Lemlin. 3.34 left, 2-0 Boston. There is one awful brave fan up there in the corner, reached to catch that, got up kind of slow nerdy, <laughs> took his head off. And he went for it without a glove. I'd like to have seen Randy Bird shoot it right here, yep. snap it. But you know, you get to thinking, you got a hot goaltender, right, I'm the snake bit, it's not going in for me. When you're not scoring, you pass. Now he just took an extra pass right there, nice play to Lynch for a little turnaround. Defenseman stays with them. Valachek stays with them. Then he falls down. Right here. I mean, Sundstrom. Kenny didn't get real good wood on this. Sundstrom just stick stayed with him more than anything. Yeah. Oh, my God. Thank you. And he falls down. Well, the Bruins have closed the gap in shots on goal a little bit more even now. 8-7 in favor of New Jersey. Huck fed in deep. Taken over by Kluzak. 2-0 Boston. Kluzak away to O'Brien. Breaks. A lead pass on the left for LeMay. Back to O'Brien. Tipped it and missed the Great play by two new men uh, dressing for this game. O'Dwyer and LeMay almost made it pay off. Devils coming back. Muller with it. Check. Verbeek brought it back in as a trailer. And the play called offside. 3-10 left. First period. 2-0 Boston. 
But I'd love to have seen Billy O'Dwyer get that one. We're going to be talking to Billy O coming up between periods one and two. Great play here. Comes in, gets it back. Just never got enough on it. Boy, Burke was playing the shooter all the way. He was. He's out. Now he gets by his left foot. Billy tips it just a little wider than that. Get that in the air. A little too fine. Been chopping at the bit, waiting for an opportunity to. A very admirable, too. He's been healthy a little while, but a winning team, not looking to break the lineup, you know, and say, okay, gets, here's your job back. Billy O'Dwyer worked very hard to get it back. He's out now with LeMay and Middleton. Will Allen broken up. Wesley, Calvin, and LeMay. LeMay has scored a goal. He's over the line. He drops it off for Middleton. Middleton back in front. Shot and a save. Burke and a screen shot. And Wesley keeps it in. Puck bounces away. Kept in by Middleton at the line. Beautiful stick handling along the line. He's broken up. Knocked down. Bruins trying to move with it. Can't. It's knocked back to Telvin. In the Boston zone, cleared away to Middleton, who's back up. Middleton, center ice. Nobody on him. Pops it in on Burke. 235 left. Burke to Broughton. Broughton breaks. Lines changing. The puck cleared in. Kuzak gets it to Joyce. He's got time. He gets it away to Janney, who scored the first goal of the game. Janney clears it in. Deep for Neely. Neely checked. Trying to make the play. Checked. Gets it into Janney. Janney. Wheeling in the zone back to Neely. Neely tried a shot or a pass at miss. And it's kept in now at the point by Janney. Covering up. Screenshot save. Puck loose back to Janney. Janney cutting near the net. Puts it in front. Knocked away. It never reached a Bruin. And back comes New Jersey. Breaking now is Loisel. Drives it in around the boards. Going for a Kluzak. A line change here. 2-0 Boston. 150 left. Period number one. Bruins nine shots. The Devils. Eight now. Back in the Boston end, it is Ray Bork. Boston goes Janney a power play and Mole LeMay. In the center ice, Crowder breaks by the defenseman. Over the line with Sweeney. Can't set him up. Almost a two and one break there. A beautiful move by Crowder. At center ice, Lindsman tips it softly for Sweeney. He's ridden off by Brown. Follow up by Crowder. Bruins keep it in. Sweeney works it free. Drops it now for Wesley. Wesley in front. Lensman Sweeney shot save Burke oh and hit him on the blocker and cut across and stayed out Danico got a penalty Kenny Lensman very sharp in front of the net he got chopped I don't know if he's going to call them both but Kenny Lensman just shoot the wood and leave the left it alone Bob Sweeney off balance on this shot great pass by Lensman one of those soft passes at one times it worked it's the blocker goes back on the other side of him. Very lucky. Sean Burke. Hits his left foot. Nearly went in. So he made the original save a lot cleaner than it looked. Danico out for high sticking. A power play for Boston. Cheap shot he took on Kenny Lindsman. That's this could cost him. These are the penalties that are tough to kill. He is yelling at Koharski. And uh, well, they all think they can get away with it now. Face off in the Devils' end. 111 left in the first period. Janney, Neely, Joyce, Telvin, and Wesley. Bruins one for one power play. New Jersey 0 for two. A new face off call. Lemlin is well out of the net, and he's talking to Bonnie. He's looking at something, whether it's time or clock. I'm pointing to something up above. Can't be the banners. Lights. Is there a light? There's somewhere? a television light might be on. It's catching Reggie's eye from somewhere. A, a television light where one of the stations would be uh, doing a stand up in the final minute using that background and that light would go on. We're guessing at that, but it could be it. Something like that. Complete guess. Well, what do you mean? Not a bad guess. Well, yeah. Well, okay. You, it was, know. It's a, you make a guess. It's not bad. I make one. You jump all over me. <laughs> you got me intimidated here, Fred. 
At any rate, it's still 111 left. I see Cam nearly get a couple here. Boston up to nine shots, New Jersey with eight. When you realize New Jersey had five in about the first four minutes of play, and two I can think of just were labeled goal for Beak and Curvis. The, regardless of the outcome of this hockey game, those two saves could very well be the turning point. That's what that's what he's in there for. On the draw, Devils get it. And Belichick is able to clear it. Back goes Wesley. He's on with Talvin. The line is Jenny, Joyce, and Neely. Wesley checked in the play. Puck knocked out to center ice. Jenny gets it to Neely. Neely over the line. Off for Joyce. Joyce in deep. Wheels it around the boards. Neely a hard hit. Bruins keep it in. A penalty on Neely. Neely too High hard sticking. a hit. And he's High out. sticking. He got away with it here. He got a cheap pop over here. Took exception to it. Joey Sorella very, very aware. Stays away. I mean, Lloyd Zell stays away from him. Backs up. International League punch in the face for that. Each team short a man now. That nullifies, of course, the Bruins power play. 44 seconds left in the period. Boston in front, 2-0. They scored a power play goal. A Craig Jenny set up by Ray Bork and Gord Kluzak. And then a key faceoff, one by Sweeney. A big pass back. Plett to Wesley. Wesley across to Telvin. The shot screened. It hit Mo LeMay and deflected by Burke for the score. New Jersey's saying bummer. I'm off the hind quarters there. Tough way to get a goal. Lindsman and Sweeney with Bork and Kluzak. Sundstrom is out with Johnson. Sorella and Velashek. Each team short of man. Play broken up by Sweeney. Sweeney swinging, trying to move in with a can. Back in the center ice. A drop pass checked by Sweeney and picked up by Velashek. And we're down to 20 seconds left in the period. Velashek forced back by Lindsman and Sweeney. Sorella starts back to Sundstrom. Away to Sorella. Sorella over the line. Check. Lost it to Kluzak. And that was Bork who checked him. Six seconds left in the center ice. Ray Bork. Three seconds left. They're yelling, shoot. Bork hauled down at the end by Johnson. And Koharski lets that go. If, if Bork had a few more seconds, he had Johnson beaten. He needed two more seconds. He had two things in mind. If I can't get an open shot, I'm going to go down on this. I looked for a penalty. It just didn't work out. Koharski a little bit too sharp for that. So the first period concluded. The score of Austin, two, and New Jersey, nothing. We'll return with more intermission highlights in just a minute. Of course, this guy is... Really, the story. He wasn't on early. At this, this point, a Reggie, whole different ball game. At this point, Reggie Lemelin is the story, no doubt about it. He's done that so often, though. Held the team in early till they regroup and get going. See the look on Billy O'Dwyer's face, recounting that. He couldn't believe that Reggie got to that. Yeah. Everybody in the building, I think, had it counted up. Yeah, it was counted. I, I did myself, but when it was bouncing, uh -oh. just could just couldn't get a handle on it, Verbe. New this guy didn't do that either, Fred. That's right. And New Jersey, in the last 15 minutes, had just three shots. The Bruins have to keep them contained. Boy, that's a that's a turnaround. Normally, it's the Bruins who come out fast and furious. The other team hangs in there, and then they're uh, right in the hockey game. Instead, New Jersey comes out strong. Boston withstands their early rush, and then they take over. Now, here's the key. Who gets the next goal? It can mean the world of difference in this game. Oh, and it's two, but it's two nothing. The third goal is a real big one. In 50 seconds, there'll be a power play for New Jersey. Right now, each team short a man. Puck over the Boston line, back for Wesley. Wesley forced deep by Johnson. Around for Telvin. Sweeney blocked, goes to the corner. Sundstrom hauls down Telvin. Puck is kept in by Driver. Tipped near the net, but missed the net. 
Lindsman gets it away smartly. Wesley gets it out to Sweeney, trying to break Kent. Kicked away for Telvin. Telvin hit at the line and knocked down by Will Annan. Ties up the puck and the faceoff called. In 16 seconds, a man advantage for 27 seconds for New Jersey. Michael Telvin said, yeah, I probably should have taken my time coming out of the dressing room. 33 seconds and he's already knocked down twice. <laughs> oh, chef. <laughs> Hey, coach, uh, tough day at the office here. Uh-oh. He's going to hit me. I know it. There we go. Biff. Oh, well, let's sit on the puck. Get a whistle. End this foolishness. Is it <laughs> me or has New Jersey been uh, keying on trying to be physical with Michael Telvin this series? It seems every game they're picking on him. He's so quick, so he's not that big. Driver with it. O'Dwyer forechecking. It's away to Willannon. Intercepted by Middleton. To O'Dwyer can't move in deflected to the Bruins stand Bruins bench in two seconds now the man will be out it will be Danico and a power play for New Jersey Billy O nice to see Billy O'Dwyer back in the lineup he could be a key also you got him in game shape Casper Gretzky O'Dwyer wins the draw back for Kuzak power play in effect now Kuzak able to drive it all the way down over the head of Burke. Long shot there. I tell that you. is hard to do to shoot it that far. And here. he had plenty on it. 15 seconds on the New Jersey power play now. 2 nothing Boston. Rotten drops it in. Muller swooping in. Kuzak there. They battle behind the net. Poked away into the corner. Middleton back to get it. And he clears it. Bruins back at full strength. Nearly back out. Middleton can't break with it. It's over the line to Muller. Muller drops it for 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 beak stops Kent gets it into Muller his drop pass missed by the point man it wasn't near them it wasn't a good pass and it's down to the devil's end teams at full strength and for beak breaks picks up Johnson and Sundstrom broken up with the Boston defense puck kept in bounces loose in front of the net knocked behind the net by Burridge around the boards but trying to get it Burridge does Burridge wheels it out Trying to outskate Sundstrom. Does. Two on one. Off for Casper, and he missed the net. Had a beautiful opportunity. Two on one. And he's bothered by a shoulder injury. A shot by Telvin, and Burke is able to trap it. You know what it looked like, Dave? I don't think he can reach full limit. Yeah, I think Dave. you're right, Dave. I think you're right. With the score of Austin 2, New Jersey nothing. We'll return to the garden in a moment. Well, I like the way Bird pulls away from Sundstrom Watch here. this hustle. A little punch in the mouth there didn't hurt. <laughs> a little elbow in the face. He break, <laughs> broke right away after that. Now a great dub pass here. Go over to Stevie Casper. See, he just doesn't get the, the full wood on yeah. it, the full extension of his hands down below. This angle will show it even more so. Right here, he tries to short stroke it. Beautiful play, though. Nice pass. And Steve's hand, son of a gun, that shoulder. Lindsman on the draw. Loisel gets it into the corner for Sorella. Sorella starts it out. In the center ice check. Lindsman trying to move it back. Sorella stops it. Picked up by Velashek. Solomon broken up by Wesley. Bruins check tightly. Sorella trying to move it out. Does to the Boston end. Loisel and Crowder going for it. Icing on the play. Little screening by Crowder helped out there. Say. And the face off to the Devil's End. Keith paid the price on that, though. He yeah. took the glass on face first. Took, took one for the club there. He says, well, I'll shoot him away. Crowder. A lot of courage. Mm. Of course, I don't know many, too, <laughs> many, too many guys that play this game that don't have a lot of courage. His helmet down over his eyes. Yeah. It's uh, got to bother you a little bit. And that's why, yeah, helmets, I don't. Not a big advocate of helmets. Well, you weren't a big advocate of helmets because you're so vain. You like your hair flowing behind you. <laughs> you like all the women saying, oh, there he is, the Turk. I don't know how you could scare anybody with a helmet on your head. <laughs> Bob Probert does a decent job. I bet. The draw, one for Willannon by Johnson. Gets it back. 
Good pass off for Sunstrom over the line. The shot deflected high by Kuzak. And Finn, Ron Finn, a little, a little late on that whistle. That was a long time outside. I'd say so. The play was offside. Well, call well after Sundstrom had it well over the line and fired one. Johnson has Sundstrom on the left, McLean on the right. Two nothing Boston. We're in the second period. Ganny wheels it away. Joyce trying to break away with it. Joyce over the line. The puck follows him. Sweeps it and a save by Burke. Great rush by Joyce. He just kept going. And it's net off its moorings. Harry O'Reilly wanted some kind of call. I don't know why you wouldn't. Well, I'll tell you, Bob Joyce is deceptively strong. You know, when he hits, he doesn't hit like Neely where the guy's bones kind of spread out along the boards. But he is so strong. Strong on his feet. I can't understand why he breaks loose here, which is holding. Gets away from that because he just had the speed. Now there's one arm around him. He's gonna he's gonna pull him down. He didn't play now, the puck, that's for sure. You know, I tell you, not a bad call because he does. That's holding. There it is, right, right on the there. skate, though. Yeah, that's that's the holding from that angle. From the other angle, looked like he got his shoulder into him and just got body position on him. Really impressive, Bob Joyce. O'Dwyer is out now with LeMay and Middleton, Bork and Kuzak. Three minutes played, second period, 2 nothing Boston. Boisel and O'Dwyer. Boisel, no, Billy just told him what he was going to do with that move. Body position, forehand at the Bork. Bork takes the draw. Wins it. Middleton, quick shot. to Ricky Middleton just risk it Mola May screening once again Schoenberg down that was the key Ricky got it up was that Sundstrom that was a little slow getting out on Middleton yeah Ray Bork right here to Ricky Middleton Rick has plenty of time to get it, it up Schoenberg down that was the key three nothing Boston right off a face off one by Ray Bork he has two assists LeMay in the four check on the Devils puck goes a hand pass by Boston, batted by Telvin. With the score of Boston 3, New Jersey nothing. We'll return to the Garden in a moment. Dave, what, what makes me proud about the way the Bruins are doing this, they're taking those cheap punches that a lot of kids out there say, well, I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to, I'm not taking anything from you. This is a team game. Takes the elbow in the face there. Play continues, you know, you have to take it. I mean, you're the, the element of courage is measured on how much you can take in this game without being a jerk and retaliating and put your team at a man disadvantage. Power play for Boston, their last one a good one, and this is follows almost immediately. Bork up to Neely, and he's offside. Well, this is three straight, isn't it, Fred? Three straight power plays for Boston? That's right. Not much five on five time in between. I mean, you can't crawl back out of a three nothing hole doing that. No. Now, the key to this game, Boston 16 shots, New Jersey with eight, and five of them came in the first right. four or five minutes. In fact, it was 6-2 when the Bruins had their one nothing lead. So in that time, Boston's outshot New Jersey 14-2. I like that. Puck kept in by Sorella, knocked away, brought back over, and offside. Hustling work by Janney forced the Sorella play to be offside. But the Bruins have the power play. The goals, Janney from Kluzak and Bork. At 8.59, a power play in the first period. LeMay from Telvin and Wesley to make it 2-0. And Middleton from Bork on a face-off in the second period. Bork with it. Boisel in pursuit. 
Now it's Kluzak. Janney handled it nicely. Checked at the line, though. Starts it back with Ray Bork. Bork over to Kluzak. Wrapped in. Going for it, Janney. Belichick. Joyce. And it's back for Bork. Bork quickly to Kluzak. Walking well in the shot. A save by Burke. Low drive. Along the boards, Kluzak trying to contain it. Kemp. Back for it, Neely. Neely swings away from Brown. Right back over the line. Drops it for Janney. Janney in. Shot. Block. Loose. It's in front. New Jersey trying to move it away, and they do. Finally, Sullivan getting it. What a play that was by Craig Janney and Cam Neely. 48 seconds on the Boston power play. Crowder for Linsman. Linsman for Sweeney. Sweeney has trouble handling it. Gets it now. In for Linsman. Back. Sweeney behind the net. Off for Bork. Bork. Back for Kluzak. Kluzak for Bork. Fires. Block. Loose. Cleared away by Danico. Fired outside the line. Ray Bork with it. 20 seconds on the power play. Bruins have had good movement and opportunities. The Devils now are able to clear it. All the way down, Ray Bork. Penalty almost up, and Ray wants the Bruins to get organized here. It's off to Wesley. Wesley away for Casper. Casper onside, pokes it over the line, is hit, but gets it. Looking for Burridge. Back at the point, kept in by Wesley. The clear in deep. Plett in the corner, fighting for it. Burridge also to the right of Burke. New Jersey at full strength, face off to the right of Burke. And with the score, Boston three, New Jersey nothing. We'll be back in a minute. Well, how about 10 seconds? Shortest commercial in history. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Devils are going to need this guy to come up with a, another miracle out of his bag. Had the winning goal in the overtime game against Chicago to get them in the playoffs, and the winning goal in the seventh game against Washington. He needs four of them right now, the way the scoreboard is. Right stands. here, Craig Jenny tucks it around the feet. Really, Bob Joyce never got the, you know, he thought it was a shot, never moved his stick to redirect it. Right here, whoop, roll oh, there, you see you later. Oh. How'd he do? Just doesn't hit his stick to go between the legs. Great little play. O'Dwyer on the draw. It's back for Curvers. Kept in by O'Dwyer. Wrapped in deep. Middleton with him. And LeMay, the other forward. Bruins check it in deep. Curvers winding up. Long pass up center ice covered by Telvin. Fires it right back. Burke handled it, and it would have been icing otherwise. Seven minutes left in the second period. It is 3 0 Boston. Shanahan gets it away to McLean. McLean over the line, the shot over the net. Bruins trying to clear it out. Can't. Telvin now finally clears it out. O'Dwyer trying to break. O'Dwyer sweeps it across for LeMay, hits it on the go, and misses the net. Good play by O'Dwyer. Bruins forecheck. Middleton trying to contain it, and they do with Kuzak. Kuzak up the boards, gets away from Curvers, drops it in behind the net. LeMay. Fighting for it, hull down. And Curvers starts it out. Now for McLean. McLean for Johnson. His shot deflected wide. And Ray Burke. Bork with it. Ray Burke. Sorry. <laughs> That'd be a heck of a player. <laughs> a steal! Jenny over the line! Moving in! Trip. And they let it go. Jenny gets it behind the net. Trying to sneak it in front. Camp! His one, a shot. Joyce and a save by Burke as Joyce cut in front. Great move by Janney in the steal. But Muller broken up now. Put back in. Six minutes left in period number two. Three nothing Boston. Maley is hit. Checked by Bork. And the face off call. And well, the fans I'm, are buzzing about that Janney like, move. I'd like to see the replay on this one. Well they gave Donna Don Goharski that is a standing ovation when he came out. They're not <laughs> They're not giving him an ovation any longer. Here comes the steal right here. Whoop! And he jumps in the hole. He's got good body position. No one near him at this point. No, he was going for the puck. Yeah, and he got Similar it too. To Glenn Wesley. Yeah, good call. He got it. Of course, the crowd doesn't see the replay. Got oh. the puck. Good play. 
Yeah. Good play. And a good non call. Tries to stuff it in the short side right here, coming out of the net. A little kick up by Bob Joyce. Getting hooked from behind with the stick behind his arm, underneath his arm. That's hooking. 21 shots, Boston, 8 for New Jersey, 555 left, second period, 3-0 Boston and goals by Jenny LeBay and Middleton. Lindsman on the draw with Broughton. Broughton check. Crowder wraps it in. Crowder on the right wing, Sweeney on the left. Lindsman moves deep. Devils trying to come out. Sweeney checked the play. Keeps it in with Crowder. It's checked and broken up. But marvelous forechecking by Boston. Again, the Bruins work it out to center ice. Danico trying to move with it. Huck checked by Crowder on the boards. Fought for with Muller. Tied up for a faceoff at center ice. 524 left. The Devils in the first period had eight shots on net. We have 524 left in the second period, and they don't have a shot on net. Kenny Lindsman. Not going to win too many hockey games with that. Well, you talk about one of the uh, clutch postseason performers. His numbers bear that out. Oh, yeah. He's just been so consistent over the years. Aside from one off, one bad playoff he had, the rest have been just sensational. What a money player he is. Well, I bet he'd really get a kick out of going back to Edmonton oh. to play for the Cup, huh? Would he ever? Manny against Casper. 522 left, second period. Purvis, the pass up. Bork breaks it up on Sullivan, and it deflects into the penalty box. And what a game Ray Bork is playing. Absolutely everywhere. They needed it, too. Ray Bork came out leading this club. Ray Bork has two assists. And the classy one was taking the face off when O'Dwyer was kicked out, <laughs> repositioning Rick Middleton, drawing the puck right to Middleton, and he beat Burke. Middleton did. I don't know why it took Sundstrom so long, though, Derek, Fred, to, to get out on Middleton. Nifty had time not only to receive the draw, but to cradle it and get it the way he wanted and get it off. Well, he, once he got out, once he reached out, calmed it down, he just snapped a wrist shot. I would. I mean, if, if you were Sunstrom, wouldn't you be anticipating Raymond drawing it back to Middleton? Yes, that's what he should have been doing, but he never figured Raymond would do it. He really won it on a second effort, which is very difficult. Bailey over the line. Off for Shanahan. He missed the pass. Might well have been in for a good-looking shot. And Peterson gets it away to Burridge. Can't hang on. Fights for it over the line. With Curvis gets it to Casper. Casper in deep in the corner. Plays it behind the net. A careful play so the Bruins can check now. Manny gets it out to Sullivan. Sullivan flips it in wide of Lemon. Back for Peterson. Down the boards. Bork can't get it. But there. Golfs it away. Driver winding up. 3 0 Boston. Driver, that could be icing. They waved it off. Lemon playing it anyway. Bork back to get it. Takes the hit. And the puck is lost. And a quick shot. And a score by McLean. McLean fires with 4.32 left. The first shot by New Jersey in the second period, and it is 3 to 1. Tough break, that one is a redirected pass. Al Peterson never got a stick on it with any control. Lost it. was good drifting the wrong way. Body Moose is going to take him away from the puck. Bork gets it up to him in traffic. Now he went to hand it back. Solomon just snapped to watch it hit the post. their first shot on goal this period. This is why the New Jersey Devils have come this not many shots on Reggie. They got this one off and made it count. First shot of the period, it's in. Well, this is Reggie's drifting away also at the same time. Peterson right there, Reggie's moving to catch the pass. That's a that's a New Jersey Devil to his right. He just snapped it off quick, caught the post, went in off the other one. And the draw will end on the shot. The save, Lemlin, for beat, keeps it in. The Muller behind the net. This pass stopped by Joyce. Neely, Neely breaks it out. Kluzak moving. Up clear it in. Burke there, wheels it around the boards, and Muller has it. Muller out for Verbeek. 
Rebeek a shot over the net. New Jersey coming to life a bit. Left point, they keep it in. Driver broken up. And Joyce starts back. Left wing over the line. Takes the hit from Willan and is buried. Oh, he took a wicked hit. And Danico gets it for Broughton. This could be, no, they wave off Icy. Muller in pursuit of Ray Bork. And Lemlin taps it around for Kruzak. And this is Icy as Kruzak moved it out. 3.18 left in the second period. Boston leads 3 to 1. Crowd getting a little bit antsy right now. They figured this one was in the bag at 3 0, and the guy's constantly going on the power play, and all of a sudden, 3 1. New Jersey showing a little life. Bruins icing the puck, and the locals are just a little bit. Not enough, not enough life yet. You know, you got to. One shot isn't much life. Well, one more goal, and I'd say the blood would be flowing pretty well, wouldn't yeah, you? That'll, yeah, that'll pick it up. Bruins got to go get that fourth goal. Lynn's been out against Sundstrom to the left of Lemlin. 3.18 left, second period. 21 shots, Boston, 10, New Jersey. Bruins can't clear it out. Seem to have the face off. Wesley wraps it up and out. Not icing, and Crowder down to four check on Driver. Driver. Bothered. McLean. And a clear it, stopped by Wesley. His shot blocked by Johnson. Away to Johnson. Johnson breaking. Gets Wesley. Gets it to McLean. The shot. The save. Lemlin. And boy, he put that one the same spot he scored on. And tries to drop it to the point, and it goes to the Devil's End. Good stop by Lemlin there on McLean. Curvers for Sundstrom. The Bruins back in their heels. And finally, Bork breaks up Sundstrom. Platt wraps it around the boards. Verbeek able to keep it in. Bork shovel. Here's a shove to Sundstrom. Now Platt took out Johnson. Interference. Power play, New Jersey. 2.28 left. Period number two. Guys, a coach that go absolutely berserk. Got a call like that. There's no need for that call. That you mean Kaharski or Platt? No, there's no, he's just in front of me, so far away from the play. He's not going to do nothing. He's let it go a half a dozen times all night. Now the Bruins got to kill this off. This is off to McLean. Right there's the shot. Reggie just got the glove on it. Kerbers, a shot deflected wide off the faceoff. And Burridge able to knock it away. 150 left on the Devils power play. Boston leads 3-1. 215 left in the second period. Kerbers starts back. He has been good putting it on net. Play broken up at the Boston line, forcing the offside, and it's Ray Bork, of course, who did it. Using his weight and yeah. blocking for a beat. Good body check on Verbeek. Slowed him up. Face off outside the Boston line. O'Dwyer out as a penalty killer with uh, Rick Middleton. Ray Bork over for a breather. Ray Bork has played about 125 hockey games this season. Oh, he played, played most of them. Like, as a defenseman, he gets a lot more ice time than any other forward or defenseman does really he's out there all the time well he's in the Canada Cup Series yep started maybe practicing in July driver with it driver over the line check by Middleton trying to move it out battles driver ties up the play beautiful defensive work by Middleton with uh, I don't want to say a minimum of effort but just good position and thinking no he doesn't panic he's very calm very cool he doesn't overreact to pucks being loose or near him or that's just a veteran in him you know and then he waits for the right moment to strike gets the puck out ties it up whatever plays the puck probably better than anyone played played the puck in 10 games 10 years defensively Shanahan's made a switch he's put Broughton at center He's been taking the faceoffs, not Muller. Bruins clear it. Back down to Muller, who's been off on the wing. Looked offside. Middleton breaking it up, but no. Driver kept it in. 
Kerbers for B. For Kerbers. Shot blocked by Ray Bork and cleared away. A minute left on the New Jersey power play. Three to one, Boston. Bork breaking up the play again at the Boston line. Broughton with it. Middleton hauled down. Broughton puts it back for Driver. Driver. Now for Kerbers. The shot deflected wide. Deflects to a devil. Broughton. Driver. Screenshot wide. Rebound. Kuzak able to snap it out. Burke out to handle it. Clears it up for Driver. Driver to McLean. Check. Broken up by Burridge and cleared away. Minute left in the period. 25 seconds on the New Jersey power play. Well, Allen winding up. Big rangy defenseman breaks to center ice, gives it to Sundstrom. He's broken up, and the Bruins break it back. Burridge coming with Casper. Burridge over the line, cuts in the middle, in the Casper. Can't get the shot away. He was open in front. Beautiful play by Burridge again. Penalty almost up. Wesley breaks it up, and that'll do it. 25 seconds left on the new, in the period. Bruins kill off that power play. No shots on. McLean back. Broken up. Crowder right back. 15 seconds left. Lindsman back for Crowder. Crowder. Check. Goes to the corner. Avoids a hit. Has it. Puts it in front. Lindsman trying to make the play. Block. Loose puck. Sundstrom clears it out. And that'll do it. And Ray Bork fired it back in. And the period ended. Each team scoring a goal. And the Bruins still have the two-goal lead that they established in the first period. McLean putting New Jersey on the board, then New Jersey getting a power play, but no shots on. Excellent job of the Bruins penalty killing. And the whole team defensively. With the score of Austin three, New Jersey one, we'll return for intermission highlights in just a minute. The Bruins pretty well had everything in hand, and what happened, one thing led to another, and they just, New Jersey snuck a shot away that went in off the post, ricocheted to the far side, kind of tightened them up a little bit. How do you feel they're going to come out the third period? What's your... Bruins? Yeah. Uh, I have a feeling that uh, all that has to be said is 20 more minutes and a full 20, and that's the way they're going to come out. There's no doubt about it. They're going to come out and just take it right to New Jersey because they need more goals, Derek. Nothing safe. Nothing is safe with this New Jersey club. You know, I, I admit other times I've I've played clubs like this in uh, or any club really. At this point, I'd rather see him play in the Montreal Canadiens. Yeah. The New Jersey Devils just have that sneaky ability to get one here or kick one in there. Hey, Cinderella's slipper has fit the entire uh, playoff so far for them. Yeah, the Cinderella. They don't know story. any different. No, they don't. I mean, they, they sh they've got plenty of confidence, and well, they should. They knock off the Islanders. They take three out of four in Washington and win a seventh game there. This was never supposed to go this far, and here they are. They no, the, they everyone expected a very tough series out of the Montreal Canadiens. The Bruins calmed them right down, held them at bay, took it to them, and, and beat them soundly four straight after losing the first game. And really, Buffalo is a very physical series, but that series was never in doubt. Although the Sabres won a couple, you know, you say to yourself, that's hard work, and the Sabres deserve the two that they won, but this New Jersey team has been vastly outplayed for six games, three games the Bruins, and three games Sean Burke. Well, they've got a lot of heart on that New Jersey club, and uh, hats off to Lou Lamorello, Jim Schoenfeld. Jim Schoenfeld's done a masterful job with him since he's taken over the club. You know, and I said to uh, Lou Lamorello before the game, Derek, I said, well, look, you know, you had number one to your roster there for the last 11, 12 games. That makes a big difference. He said, but Dave, he's only one guy out of 20. You know, he makes the others around him better, but he's still only one guy out of 20. You can't discount the rest of the hockey club. Yeah. So I said, all right, you know, I'll, I'll nice. buy that to a point, but still, he's won the games for to you. To a point. Yeah, Lou, uh, you got to give credit where credit's due. I know you want it to be a team effort. The Devils, it, Sean Burke has held them in before, and they've come back. Boston Bruins must play the type of hockey that they're more than capable of. <laughs> There's a sign down below us that says, we're with Mr. April, and then they've crossed that out and <laughs> changed it to Mr. May, Reggie Levelin, and the cup-bound Bruins. Boston Bruins, now, for all their yeah, skating are. and hustling, have only got 21 shots. 
That's not a lot of shots no. in a very fast game. Well, I think we had uh, 21, didn't we, with about eight or nine minutes left to go in that period? I mean, it was just a roll reversal. They carried the play. We did, did nothing offensively the last part of the period. They looked to make some nice passes, and it didn't connect. We held it in for long periods of time, but they checked off the loose man, got on the puck, and then the loose man looked for another loose man instead of going to the net. I'd like to see the Bruins drive to the net this period with one or two bodies. I would love to see the Bruins get the fourth goal. Yeah, exactly. Be very physical in the New Jersey end because the uh, defensemen are a little gun shy back there. Make them cough that puck up, get that fourth one by Burke, and then just concentrate on playing tight checking hockey around the rink. Harry O'Reilly still has that same concern. Look, and well, he should. That tells the story. By no means is that a safe two goal lead. No. At no point in this series. Two goals is never really safe. Three, no, you can start to, you know, go out and get the popcorn and, you know, get the pizza, but two isn't safe. For New Jersey, Mark Johnson at center. Ken Lensman for Boston. He has Crowder on the right and Sweeney on the left with Kruzak and Bork. Sundstrom McLean, the wingers. Sorella and Velashek. Popped in the devil's zone. Velashek there. Trying to clear it out. The Bruins cover it. Crowder, pass up. Now a long pass over. Ray Bork reaches, clears it in. And back for it, Sorella. Bruins four checking. And they break it up. Sweeney gets it to Crowder. Crowder puts it on net. Grabbed by Burke. Hangs on with Lindsman there. Gets a break. Started to move out with it. Now Sean Burks took exception to that. Kenny Lindsman give him a little slap in the glove. They, uh, the whistle there hasn't no whistle. gone. There's yeah. no whistle, kid. Calm down. And plus, he's looking for a place to lay it down. And he's out of the crease. He's fair game. Goaltender's a little temperamental about what they can do and what they can't do. Ah, <laughs> uh, the supreme disturbance. I remember that one, one night I did that. Just tucked it, and the guy never had a real hold on it. Dropped right at his feet, slid it in. It happens if he didn't have a good grip on it. Drops to his feet. <laughs> No whistle, it's all over. Well, Sean also knows that uh, next goal the face -offs. is the hockey game. Yeah, the face-offs tonight, New Jersey 27, Bruins 26. I can't remember Boston losing that many. Janney on the draw with Kirk Muller to the left of Burke now. 3-1 Boston. What for? Bruins keep it in. Joyce, quick shot, save Burke. Drops it off. And the Devils start it back. Winding up is Broughton in the center ice. To clear in wide. Going for Muller. Shot kicked away by Lemlin. Behind the net. Kuzak battling for it. Goes loose and picked off by Verbeek. Fed back in. Now Neely back to help out. Bruins trying to clear it out. Well, Allen keeps it in. New Jersey is shot. And it's wide. Danico able to keep it in at the point. The Bruins. Pend in now for Beak. Drives it in deep. Luzak trying to clear it right out. Can't, but it bounces for Bork. Bork breaks. Bork. Get Joyce over the line. For Neely. Neely shot. Save Burke. It was Joyce breaking two on one. The Bruins had the glorious chance. And the save by Burke on Cam Neely. Back comes Casper. A backhand. And he misses the net. Wesley the long rebound. Trying to keep it in. It's knocked away. Joyce set up nearly a two on one. Great chance. Joyce back. Flipping it in. Burke drops it off for Driver. Three to one Boston. Bruins keep it in. A turnaround shot. And it's missed the net. Middleton. Casper trying to drop it back to the point. Check. Fights. Keeps it in. Going for it. In the corner. Burridge. Middleton is at right wing on this line. Sullivan trying to move it out. Checked by Telder. Chops it in deep. Driver back. Chased. Oh, took a stick there. Play continues. Burridge trying to move it in front. Burke gets it. Driver back in action. A steal by Middleton. Middleton puts it in front. The Bruins can't get the shot away. And Maley breaks it out. To Shanahan. Flip back into the Boston end. The Bruins had a lot of chances. Can't move it out now. Johnson kept it in. Broken up by Casper in the clear. Belichick for New Jersey. Good pass away to McLean. McLean over the line. Stops. Cuts. Shoots. Blocked. 
kept in. McLean gets it. On the boards, Crowder, Casper. Fought for. McLean with it. Miss fires. And away comes Telvin. Broke him out. Gives it to Crowder. Crowder on Belichick. Clears it in the corner. The Bruins change up. Burke trying to clear it out. Crowder battling to keep it in on the right wing boards. Linsman. Sweeney. A shot missed. Good setup. Right wing side. Drive by Kuzak. Missed on the far side. And the long rebound to center ice. 3 1 Boston. Third period. Fourth. Sweeney. Sweeney taps it in. Burke out. Clearing it around the boards. Sundstrom with it to Sorella. And it's back in the Boston end. Going for it, McLean kicks it ahead behind the net. And Ray Bork there. Drive up, not out. Danico kept it in. A hit on Danico by Neely, but the puck in front. Score by Muller, set up by Broughton. It's 3-2. to two. The Bruins preoccupied with hitting, and New Jersey right back in it. Now I can see Cam muttering to himself, but Reggie Levelin showed some disgust and emotion in the crease. We're going to get down to the final tick of the clock, I'm afraid, for well, this one. The way you got to look at it. See, Kirk Bowen. He had three or four boys. great opportunities. Nearly a little upset about when that two on one with Joyce this is a bouncing puck. Broughton's the extra man. Nobody picked him up. Right here to Muller. Got almost a hole net covered, but it's two in off the post. Two just perfect passes. And suddenly it is three to two. Third period, four minutes played. New Jersey, 13 shots. And they have two scores, and they close the gap. Rotten breaks it back. Danico missed it. Joyce winding up, forced to just clear it away. At center ice, Verbeek checked on the play. Joyce with it now, over the line. Joyce checked, Janney into the corner. Pokes it in deep. Muller there, checked by Neely. Verbeek chops it out. In the center ice, Muller picks it up. Stopped at the line. To Verbeek, he's broken up. Winding up is LeMay. LeMay trying to get away from Neely. Over the line. Checked by Driver and broken up. Neely comes back. Checked by O'Dwyer. It's up to Loisel and fed in the Boston end. Muller... Close the gap. It is Boston 3, New Jersey 2. Loisel to Brown, to Driver, the shot, the save. Lenlin, a big stop on Driver, set up by Brown with five minutes played, third period. And with the score, Boston 3, New Jersey 2, we'll return to the Garden in a moment. Well, judging by the style of play, I would have to say New Jersey is playing to win right now, while the Bruins seem to be skating to make sure they don't lose. And there's a big difference. You pay, play consciously when you're trying not to lose. You let it all hang out when you're trying to win. The draw to Kluzak. Behind the net. Up the boards. Not out. Johnson. In front. Sunstrom. Broken up. Burridge with it. Burridge gets it out the center ice. Checked, though, by Johnson. New Jersey playing very well. Middleton trying to make a play. Devils roll it back, taken by Kluzak. Now to Ray Bork. Bork rolls it in. Touched by Burke. Deflects to Casper. The shot misses the net. Johnson starts it away. Now to Sundstrom. Sundstrom ridden off by Bork. Checks Kluzak. Back to get it. Ray Bork. Lemlin is hauled down on that play. Bruins able to clear it out. Can't get it, though. Verbeek right back. Shot. Save Lemlin. Oh, he blistered that low and hard from the blue line. Bork a good play to Kluzak, and the Bruins clear it out. But the Devils have them back on their heels as they make a line change. The Devils carrying the play for the most part. Trailing Boston 3-2. to two. Muller hit by Crowder. Broken up. Fights for the puck and able to sweep it in. Kelvin there. Around the dasher and not out. Kept in. A shot goes wide by Sorella. One of those dangerous shots. In the center ice. Sweeney trying to break with it now. Sweeney over the line. Gets it off for Lindsman. He can't get the shot. Belichick covered it. Crowder steals. Moves in. In front. They can't get the shot on. Good play by Crowder. Puck kept in by Boston. On the board, Sweeney fighting for it. Verbeek now 
Janney trying to move with it, can't cut in. Wesley drives it in. 8.28 left, third period. Boston leads 3 to 2. Bruins keep it in. Janney, Neely in front. Shot. What a save by Burke. That may. Oh, remember that one. Pluzak, a shot deflected into the stands. What a play by Burke on Neely. Well, Zell's working. We're, we're looking to take a punch to get Cam Neely out of this game. What a save. What a uh, play by Craig Janney. Well, this one now reminiscent is, of the one Reggie made uh, early in the game. Right. Hey, Nesson is the place to keep up with your baseball this summer and get a look at some of the other divisions. Later this month, Nesson gives you a preview of the AL West as the Sox take on the likes of Seattle, Oakland, and California, all on a two-week West Coast swing. Then in June, it's old home time as the Sox face a full month against their rivals in the AL East, including the Red Hot Yankees, Minnesota, Detroit, Cleveland. They'll all be on hand. Nesson has sprinkled in games from Pawtucket, the old-timers game, which was today, and the Jimmy Fun game against the Cincinnati Reds next Thursday. Nesson is your place for baseball this summer. Right here, Craig Janet and Neely goes on the back end, gets it up, hits his arm, just got his stick on it, which interrupted the flow of the shot to the net. On the faceoff, Janney, able to work it over the line, is checked. Danico winding up. 3-2 Boston. Steal by Jenny. Jenny in. Stalls. Break Jenny. Stall from Danica. Went in. Fake Burke. And made it 4-2. What a heads up play by that young man. Greg Jenny. That's hockey Columbus. Thank God for Greg Jenny. Joe Lyons, who scouted him from Pee Wee, said he's a winner. He said, you, that's the type of goal he gets. What a heads-up forechecking play he makes here. Johnny on the spot. Danico. Danico coming up. What he did is he positioned himself well. Danico make the easy play. If he's smart, he goes up the boards. He opted to go through, Jenny. Craig Jenny, so good with his stick. Derek, what is this follow There's the through? fake shot. There's what held Burke. Now he goes across, Burke has no chance. What's that remind you of? What? Oh, the diving through the air, the Bobby Orgel. Yeah. <laughs> Watch him come through this way, Derek. You made the pass to Bobby. Right there. Bingo. There he goes. Yeah. Hey. Almost identical. It's scary. This crowd has lost it. They've been waiting and waiting as New Jersey kept poaching and poaching and crawling back into this game. And then New Jersey took control of the play, and in one fell swoop, the momentum has gone completely the other way. Terry O'Reilly talked about a, bat, a bounce, a good play, a break, something happens when you're in the seventh game. Could have gone the other way. Janney's second goal, unassisted. A lead in for O'Dwyer by Kluzak. Indeed, Middleton fighting for it. Middleton wants to make a careful play if he can get possession. Can't do it, but battle in the corner and get the face off. 7.39 left, period number three, Craig Jenny. What an individual effort that goal was. Now the Bruins have to stay on top of the Devils. They're stunned right now. I love the fake slap shot from about eight feet out. <laughs> Sean Burke froze. Figure, what's he going to do? Slap it from there? The and he have... goes, great lateral movement left. Great goal. Bruins have to assert themselves while remaining in control. It can be done all at the same time. You don't take any unnecessary chances, but you keep the pressure on. They're rocked right now. Two guys Don't let can them do recover. It. Two guys can do it. One man in the high slot, pick up the winger, so they come back three on three. Yeah. And that affords your defense a chance to stand up. That's not the first interception of Janney. He had another one. Yep. And Will Allen just got his stick as he went in. <laughs> Craig Janney, 20 years old. A lot of Instead of being a junior at Boston College. Here's a long lead. Lemlin coming out. Lost it. Johnson got it. All right, Reggie tried to clear it. Didn't work. Warren's trying to clear it now. Driver keeps it in. Johnson knocks down a man in front. Now LeMay picks it up. 
Skates at center ice. O'Dwyer clears it. The Bruins make changes, but maybe even 30 second changes now. Four to two, Boston. Craig Janney with two scores. Puck is gloved out by Wesley. A heady play. And they say no hand pass with it. Burridge over the line. Stops, cuts, shoots wide. And it goes into the back of the net. And Here. face off outside the line. Fred, I think the intended hand, hand pass was banged in the direction of Casper. When Casper doesn't field it, the next Bruins eligible. But, but doesn't the opponent have to touch that puck before any Bruin dare? No, no, it may have not been a hand it pass. It has to be directed. Really, they no, shouldn't call just, all hand passes. He just batted it out and then. Stevie Casper doesn't get it. Burridge does. Okay. It wasn't a, a hand pass. Is kind of a, a redirect to, to a, the specific player. Well, the Devils aren't too aware of that that rule. That oh no, allows they, that they thought. You don't for know sure. when you call it. It's not a mandatory uh, call. The Devils descended on Kevin Collins and Rod Finn. We're under seven minutes. Neely breaks it up at the Boston line. Quick clear away. Will Allen trying to come back. Fell down. And Casper with it. Has a man. Neely. Neely trying to break in. In. Scores! Cam Neely with a backhander. Set up by Casper to make it 5-2. to two. But the play was nobody Cam Neely so strong with his stick that actually Muller can get to this and hold his stick, but he can't. Takes the backhand, holds Burke, gets it up over the fallen Burke. Oh, baby. This Bruce Shoebottom started a new trend here in the garden. Two shots, two goals. That's it. Two steals. A replica of the Stanley Cup. Is that what I see? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I saw a couple in the hallway on my way down to the interview room. The Bruins can hang on. Stay with us because we'll be in the Bruins dressing room after this one. Wow. That's what they were missing, guys, at the end of the first, second period or the beginning of the third. They weren't trying to force turnovers. They were just trying to make sure New Jersey didn't score. They weren't playing aggressive in the neutral area. They weren't carrying the play. Waiting, they were waiting for a break for some kind of something to give. And the New Jersey Devils <laughs> were gonna have to eventually give something up, maybe, and that's what they did. They pounced on their two chances. Well, the amazing thing is uh, Burke can be beaten, right? Well, any goaltender oh, can yeah, when yeah. you have goal scorer moves by Janney and Neely, but he looked uh, well just unbeatable and then two quick goals after New Jersey was putting the heat on trailing three to two Craig Janney and Cam Neely and Janney has two tonight. Oh here come the shoes. <laughs> Somebody's going home barefoot tonight. Remember a guy in Montreal one time threw out a pair of pants. <laughs> Everybody looking around <laughs> for the guy in the shorts. <laughs> How many goals do you have to score for, for those to come out? <laughs> I thought that was innovative. Up there, they had, they had the medical students are the ones that come up with all the new stuff. <laughs> Cam Neely. Right here, great move. Captures the puck. Holds Burke, but Burke just can't get across on him. Neely's motion was such that it was just going to be too tough. We talked earlier about the turnaround play, those three saves in a row by Lemelin. Instead of 3 3, it's 5 2. Lemelin's come up very big on two spurts by the Devils early in the game when it was nothing, nothing. I want a story that Janney and Joyce. What a story this yeah. year. Miracle on Causeway Street. That's our own Cinderella story. Joyce and Jenny, Andy Moog. Then you, then you put O'Dwyer and LeMay out. Yeah. They haven't been around. <laughs> LeMay scores. O'Dwyer has 
Terry O'Reilly has Helps that. The penalty killing. Has that gift, I think. Play the hot hand. Let us not forget Raymond Bork. He has been a standout. Cut back now for Johnson as the ice is cleared. 6.30 left. Boston leads 5 to 2. Sundstrom, the clear in. Kerbers hustles in his check. Rolls near Lemlin and he ties it up. Kerber is taken down by Bob Sweeney. Faceoff coming up. To the left of Burke. Customers will be limited to two tickets per game. 210 left. 5 to 2 Boston. Wales Conference Championship just that far away. And Bill O'Dwyer's been excellent on faceoffs. Been working very hard. He's been all out, you know. He hasn't made any mistakes, and that's been uh, that's why we made this hockey club. That he's very sound defensively, been working extremely well in the corners, never letting his man go, doesn't overplay the puck, doesn't look for breakaways, and scoring goals. Just sits at home and plays solid defense. Puck is cleared out to the Boston line, and Kuzak knocks it away to Ray Bork. What a magnificent game he has played, assisted on the first two scores for Boston. Or, uh, score one and three, rather. At center ice, Middleton checks the play, pops it back in. 150 left in the game, a three goal Boston lead. This clear will be icing. 143 left. And the Devils gave it a battle, trailing 3 0. McLean and Muller got it back in the game. And the Bruins seem to be back on their heels. Danico wound up behind the net. He's coming out with a pass up, and Janney intercepted. Walked in alone and beat Burke one on one with a beautiful fake. A goal scorer's move. Oh, it was that. It was that. His thing of beauty. His second goal of the night. And then Cam Neely moved in for a backhander to make it five to two. 30 shots, Boston, 18, New Jersey. So it's. Uh, it's all over, just the 142 to play. Yeah, fans throwing some. Going with the shoes. De debris on the ice and delaying it. Bruce Shoe Bottom has started a whole new custom here. Okay, let's cut it out. Fun, fun. People starting to boo now. What do you do go home without a shoe? Casper's out with uh, Neely on the wing and Burridge, and of course it paid off for the fifth goal. Devil starting it back for Beek. Drives it in wide of Reggie Lemon. Lemon around the boards, can't clear it. Muller puts it back on the other side. Maley moves in. They've got four forwards on. Muller setting up in front. Puck doesn't get in front. Kuzak clears it up. Burke is out of the net. That's why Mealy came on. Bruins are looking at an open net. They can get it, but Broughton comes back. He is hit. And a high stick call here. Is it on Ray Bork? A high sticking penalty. And it is on Raymond Bork. 104 left in the game. Ray Bork is out. Sean Burke is out of the Devil's net. And there's simply no time for New Jersey. No, it's just they have played with tremendous courage. Sean Burke has played exceptional goal. They fought back from deficit after deficit. Ray Bork, pretty harmless high stick. 104 left now. New Jersey with uh, Verbeek, and Muller, and Broughton, Kerbers, and Driver, and Maley. Tonight was the most games that Boston Bruins have ever played in the Stanley Cup. Tonight was the 19th, Fred? 18th. 18th tonight. They've only played in 17 previous to this. That was in 1983. Lindsman on the draw. In effect, a two man advantage for the Devils. Middleton with it for the empty net. He missed it. But a 
of course, it's not icing. Not icing. Middleton trying to keep it in the Devils end. 50 seconds left. Power play for the Devils. Maley coming back. Lost it to Telvin. Telvin can't clear it out. Kept in by Driver. Maley back for Kerbers. Let's it go. Deflected into the stands by Wesley. 36 seconds left in the game. Got ourselves a little Stanley Cup up there made out of foam. Well, I have the presentation for the Wales Conference. Jay Miller just came out on the ice playing left defense for Glenn Wesley. Al Peterson's coming with him, replacing Michael Delvin. Muller on the faceoff with Linsman. We're going to have a presentation right at the end of the game. They're going to be the Prince of Wales. The draw back, kept in now by Maley. Screenshot blocked by Middleton. Goes to Linsman. Linsman clears it and heads for the net. And he scores! Linsman in the empty net from Rick Middleton to make it 6 to 2. 24 seconds left. A backhander that right in the middle. You can read the label on it. He snapped it up, a nice soft pair of hands. Total control over it. You got to have him on the ice with an empty net. Ken Lensman makes it six to two. Rick Middleton assisting. And Middleton is so sharp defensively, breaking up the play, getting possession, giving it to Lindsman. And yeah, oh, great. And that's what Ricky Middleton, very calm and cool along the boards, getting it to Kenny. Got a situation here, Fred. What they're going to do is just shove the debris off to the side, play the last 24 seconds. They're not going to look to do any of this. Everybody will play it very careful. Good idea. An excellent idea. The linesman come in. Uh, Let's see if Schoenfeld goes along with it. He did. Collins come in and had mentioned to Koharski. He went over to both benches and they said, yeah, play it out. Well, the game is over. 24 seconds left. Boston still short-handed. Jay Miller goes back for it now. Drives it around the boards. Not out. And it is Muller with a shot. Block. Another empty net bid. And Will Allen chopped it back in. Jay Miller with it. That will do it. The Bruins win the Wales Conference as they salute Reggie Ledland. Oh, they really surround him. You go back to the first five minutes for Beak and Curvers, and he stoned them. And then there was that flurry at the end. The guys are going to be losing their sticks. The police are going to come out and try to stop this from coming over the boards. Fans are out there. One kid's trying to get over the boards with the stick. They won't let him over with the stick. Well, what a season. I mean, it isn't over. And what a season to this point, Derek. Oh, they've been playing. They, they deserve this. They played hard now. It's all year long. The pesky New Jersey Devils. That was going to be one tough little go. No one expected the Devils to take it this far. They have. The seventh game, the Bruins responded with offense that really Sean Burke, he couldn't be faulted at any one of the five he let in. Or got, got past him. They're coming over the end glass. That's amazing. That's a long way to fall. The Bruins are champions of the Wales Conference with this victory. They will meet the Edmonton Oilers, Terry O'Reilly, Assistant coach John Cuniff out there. The series will open in Edmonton. 
since the Oilers have the home ice advantage. They didn't get that by much, Derek. No. Tom McCarthy, like you said, Lyndon Byers out there as well. Keith Crowder, a happy man. The first two games in Edmonton, Wednesday, May 18th, then Friday, May 20th, then it's back at Boston Garden on Sunday, May 22nd, and Tuesday, May 24th. That's the schedule as the teams congratulate each other. And the Devils certainly have nothing to be ashamed of. No, not at all. There's a presentation here. They're trying to keep the Bruins on the ice. Police are pretty aggressive out there. They got people leaving this ice without touching their feet on the ground. The Devils congratulate the Boston Bruins. They took the Bruins to seven games. Bruins. Andy Moog, old teammate in the Olympics. Sean Burke, give him a little extra pat. 